So, what is going on, you dude? This is Sam from Team Samurai X1 here, and today, guys, I am coming at you with my Blue Eyes deck profile for the post Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. So, I really hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. You guys do not understand how long I waited for Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon to come out, and once I heard that it's going to be released in the movie pack on July, I got super excited and I got super amped, and I just can't wait to showcase you guys this deck profile. I've been testing this deck for quite some time now. This deck is very fun, it's very explosive, and last but not least, it's very nostalgic for. So, for those of you who watch watched Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day and watched it ever since the original Yu-Gi-Oh series and you love the character Kaiba, this deck profile is definitely for you. So you know what guys, as I progress through the deck profile, I'll explain to you guys all my card choices and the reason why I play them. Also guys, and I'll also do you guys a favor, throw the deck profile, I'll give you different card choices that you guys can play instead of some of the cards I play in the deck. This is my version of the deck, so uh, don't hate me on some of the cards I play. And the fact that the whole deck is ultra, like the whole monster core is ultra, it's just very, very cool. So start off with the monsters, you guys want to play of course Triple Blue Eyes Alternative White dragon this card is absolutely phenomenal for those of you who do not know this effect and are newer to the game uh, let me read you guys the effect so this card is a level 8 uh, light dragon type monster and its effects reads cannot be normal summon or set must first be special summon from your hand by revealing a blue eyes white dragon monster in your hand you, only, you can only special summon blue eyes alternative white dragon once per turn this way this card names becomes blue eyes white dragon while it's on the field or it's in the graveyard once per turn you can target one monster your opponent controls destroy it so this card can destroy any monster once it's summoned which is pretty pretty good but the only downside cause effect is that this card cannot attack the turn to use this effect which is uh, okay at best because what you want to do with this card is you want to summon this card uh, either attack for damage or pop for a monster and then go off with your combo plays and if you have gospel revival or cards like silver's choir to revive back into the blue eyes go into uh, dark matter and basically just uh, you know extend your combo plays and push for otks so this card literally makes you otk your opponent which is absolutely phenomenal being able to uh, pop a monster um the turn it summon or pop a monster is very very good so triple blue eyes alternate white dragon is definitely needing the deck and this is the reason why this card uh, makes blue eyes competitive in my personal opinion and this is the card that we have all been waiting for to be released in TCG and I'm just so glad that this card is finally out so of course we're gonna play triple blue eyes uh, alternative white dragon absolutely phenomenal and it looks super sexy as an ultra you guys will understand next I'm gonna play triple blue eyes white dragon this card is very self-explanatory you must play triple blue eyes white dragon in this deck very self-explanatory next we're gonna play of course uh, double dragon spirit of white uh, this card is really good because one it is treated as a blue eyes monster and uh, two this card has an amazing effect where it is special summon uh, you basically get to banish a spawn trap card on your opponent's side of the field which is really really crucial so when the card comes out you get to banish um you know scales banish uh, spawn traps that are problematic to you which is absolutely phenomenal so uh, dragon white spirit is really good and it's, it can be two out of the, the ancient white stone which is very very good so you want to play of course uh, double dragon spirit of white you want to play triple sage with eyes of blue this card is uh, absolutely phenomenal as well uh, so this is the level one tuner of the deck if you guys don't know what his effect his effect basically reads that when this card is normal summon you basically get to add a level one light tuner monster from your deck to your hand so that means that you can even add effect dealer. The secondary effect means that you can uh, send this card from your hand to the graveyard and target one effect monster you control, send it to the graveyard, and special summon a blue eyes monster from the deck, which is pretty, pretty cool as well. And if you combo out with soul charge to bring it back to make another spirit dragon, is just absolutely phenomenal. So triple Sage blue Eyes of Blue is definitely amazing in the deck. Next one to play, of course, uh, Triple the White Stone of Ancient. This card is really, really good. Uh, the fact that you're able to reoccur back blue eyes alternative dragon or blue eyes white dragon from your graveyard to your hand is really, really good. And the fact that uh, the end phase effect where you get to activate this effect, especially a blue eyes monster from the deck uh, is not once per turn it's very very good so let's say that you send uh, two white stone of ancients for, uh, from your deck to the game right in one turn during the end phase you're able to tour out uh, a blue eyes monster uh, blue eyes and a dragon spirit of white from your deck uh, which is very very good so you know uh, the sending to the graveyard special from the uh, special from the end phase is not a once per turn effect which is absolutely phenomenal and let's say that during late game you have blue eyes in hand you have this in graveyard what you can do is that you can banish this card to add an alternative back to your hand so that way that you can always make a live alternative uh, from your graveyard uh, by just banishing this card and adding to your hand especially many by revealing off the blue eyes so the card is very very good uh, you know you, you want to send this card off dark matter as, as soon as possible so the white stone at chain is definitely a three off uh, end of the deck so you guys play triple uh, the white stone I recommend you guys playing uh, double Dragon Spirit of White because when once this card goes to the graveyard during the end phase, you special summon this card out and then you banish a spawn trap card on the field, which is very, very good. And next off, you want to play Double Maiden with Eyes of Blue. In my personal opinion, I feel like this card is very, very good. I've been testing both versions of the deck where you play straight up Sage and straight up the White Stone of Ancients and no Maiden at all. And I find that myself, um, like, I just love the Maiden build better because the combo plays that you can make with this deck is very, very insane. The fact that you can uh, Mausoleum Maiden and go into your Spirit Dragon is very, very good in my personal opinion. And the fact that you can always reoccur Blue Eyes from the Graveyard during mid or late game while having me on the field is very great as well. So the card is uh, essentially a monster more of the deck while you have a 
mausoleum on the field, or your opponent were to target this card as an attacking base special summon a blue eyes monster from the graveyard, it's really good. And this card is searchable off the sage, and the combo that you can do is uh, if you open up sage and mausoleum, you basically open up like the two card combo uh, of this deck, which is very very uh, strong, uh, which is a very strong opening in my personal opinion. You can make a first turn crystal wing uh, with just opening a sage and a mausoleum, uh, which is really really good. Uh, throughout testing, I, f I find myself uh, liking the maiden build and the mausoleum build better than just you know the straight up OCG where you play triple sage and triple white stone and that's it. Uh, so. If you guys don't want to play uh, this card, you guys don't have to. Uh, it's all off the personal preference, but I do like the Maiden build uh, better than the OCG version uh, as of right now. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the Blue Eyes engine. Uh, so, you know, Double Maiden, uh, Triple White Stone, Triple Sage, and all the eight Blue Eyes of the deck. Very, very standard lineup. Next off, you want to play, of course, uh, one effect there because it is searchable through the Sage, which is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, last but not least, Double Maxi uh, in the main because Maxi uh, is really, really good, especially going second and your opponent uh, goes off with their Burning Abyss plays or causal plays. Being able to draw cards and reach into your combo pieces is very, very uh, important and also drawing to the soul charge just makes you win the game. So Maxi is definitely a must off in this deck. So let's go on to our spells. For our spells, you guys want to play, of course, Double Mausoleum of White and One Terraforming. These cards are absolutely phenomenal. A lot of decks in the OCG do not play this version anymore, but I feel like this version is very strong. It is very combo heavy and all you need to literally open up is Sage and Mausoleum to have the amazing combo. So what Mausoleum allows you to do is early game, you're able to dump Blue Eyes from your deck to your graveyard so that way that you can feed your graveyard to trigger off Gospel Revival, aka Return of the Dragon Lords, or Silver's Cry, which is absolutely phenomenal in my personal opinion. And also the fact that you're able to just get the additional the normal summon of the level 1 tuner uh, from your hand is very good. So the fact that you're able to just abuse this card and get rid of this dead card in your hand, because let's say that you don't have a discard outlet and you just need to get the additional normal summon. So what you can do is you can go, uh, you know, if you have this card in hand, you just additional normal summon this card, sync uh, with a blue eyes, uh, and you know, summon the spirit and phase, you basically get to trigger off this card. Or what you can do is if you have another blue eyes in hand, you can, you can just basically normal summon this card, uh, sink into a spirit dragon. This card is in the graveyard. You can banish this card, add an alternative dragon, and special summon the alternative dragon and things like that, which is very, very cool. Uh, so, you know, this the mausoleum is very good. The fact that it just allows you to uh, basically extend your combo plays and feed your graveyard with blue eyes during the early game is very, very good. Uh, so, in my personal opinion, I feel like mausoleum is very good. And you know, if you don't open up a mausoleum, you're just playing straight blue eyes, like the OCG, like, you know, you're just playing straight sage and straight uh, uh, ancient white stone. But I felt like, you know, this card just basically increases the ceiling of this deck, in my personal opinion. Uh, so, Double Mausoleum and uh, Terraforming. And, you know, this card, you know, can easily be, uh, you know, dig through. Like, you know, like you have so many drop power in the deck. Like, you know, you have so many thinning, uh, thinning outlets. Like, you know, Triple Melody and things like that is very, very good. Melody helps you search out uh, the Alternative Dragon and Blue Eyes, which is absolutely phenomenal. If you open up this card, if you open up Mausoleum, Melody, and, like, you know, Gospel Revival and a Sage, you basically, you basically have game. It's crazy. So Melody of the Awakening Dragon is re really, really good. And next off, we're going to play, of course, Triple Trade-In. You know, no doubt about it. You play eight level eight monsters. You're definitely going to play Trade-In. This card is absolutely phenomenal. I love Trade-In, man. It's really, really good. And Trade-In basically helps you dig deeper to the deck to hit, to hit your combo pieces like Terraforming or Melody of the Awakening Dragons, uh, which is really good. So Triple Trade-In is definitely a must-off in this deck. Next, we're going to play a Soul Charge. Very self-explanatory. You win the game if you open up Soul Charge. The crazy boards you can make is just really, really good. Uh, Double Dragon Shrines, uh, really self-explanatory. Dumps... Uh, your ancient white stone and also dumps your uh, dragon white spirit to trigger off gospel arrival which is really really good uh, so yeah so double dragon's trying so if you guys want to play one of the best cards in the deck return of the dragon lords this card is the absolute nut so trade in basically digs deeper into this dragon trying basically digs deeper into everything so trade in is really really good and you know return of the dragon lords card is absolutely phenomenal the fact that it's able to revive a dragon type monster from a graveyard like a blue eyes or a dragon spirit white from a graveyard it's just really really good and the fact that it's you know, it's able to protect you from cards of Regeki, Dark Coal, and you know, the banning effect is just very, very powerful. And the fact that you're able to abuse this card more than once per turn is absolutely crazy. So, you know, Triple Return of the Dragon Lords is really, really good uh, in this deck. Absolutely amazing. And last but not least, you want to play uh, One Silver's Cry, the uh, additional monster board of the deck, which is really nice. And uh, last but not least, for our other staples, you want to play Double uh, Twin Twister to round off our. Um, spell line of the deck. Very, very solid explanatory. So this is really good because it's able to help uh, get rid of problematic back rolls and also uh, helps you ditch uh, Ancient White Stone uh, from your hand to the grave to trigger it off during the end phase, which is pretty cool. So Twin Desert is really amazing for that. So that's pretty much it for our spells. 
Let's go out to our traps. We do play traps in the deck. You want to play double Solemn Strike and one Vanny's Emptiness. You know what? In the OCG, they do not have Cosmos yet. And you know what? During the list, uh, uh, during, during their ban list, uh, they don't have Cosmos. And they're just playing triple Phoenix Wing Wing Blast uh, to basically, you know, return cards on the field to the deck. And since we have Cosmos, if you don't play Solemn Strikes, I feel like, you know, we're going to have a hard time facing against the Cosmo matchup. But if you guys don't have this card, you guys will definitely do not have to play it. It's just like, you know, a more of... A, a more of a competitive side where you're just playing Solemn Strikes just to compete against the Kaza matchup. And you know, a huge shout out goes to my boy Marcus for helping me out and lending me the Solemn Strikes. So I appreciate uh, you, Marcus. You guys all know Marcus. Marcus uh, did a lot of deck profiles on Blue Eyes on this uh, channel. So a huge shout out to Marcus for lending me the Solemn Strikes uh, for this deck profile. So that's pretty much it for our traps double Solemn Strikes and one Vanny's Emptiness, uh, which is very powerful. It's kind of really uh, powerful since if you already have an established board of like Dark Matter, Spirit Dragon, and you flip up uh, Vanny's Emptiness, you basically have game if you're playing cannot out the Vanny's Emptiness, especially doing during formats like this. So Vanny's Emptiness is very strong uh, in this deck, in my personal opinion. Yes. Alright guys, so let's go off into our extra deck real quick. What do you guys want to play for the extra deck is, of course, Double Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. This card is the best synchro in the deck, in my personal opinion. This card is very, very powerful. The fact that it basically says F you to Pendulum Summoning is very, very crucial. And it also gets a negation uh, of any card in the graveyard during the player's turn, which is very strong as well. And the fact that he's able to dodge a lot of cards to bring out cards like Azure Rise, you know, you know, Starter Spark Dragon, Moon Moon Rose Dragon is very very strong as well and it also helps you go into Michael to go into Crystal Wing which is absolutely amazing so of course uh, the Spirit Dragon is definitely needed in the deck uh, very very strong next one I'll play of course the one Azure Eyes uh, I actually never find myself going to double copies of, of, of Azure Eyes but I usually bring this card out with uh, Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon which is very very powerful and the fact that you're able to reoccur uh, what is it, normal monsters during your standby phase every single turn is very strong as well so Azure Eyes is definitely needing the deck and I actually only find myself only using one copy of this card uh, so yeah one crystal win because you can easily tune it off off with of course Michael and uh, with the spirit dragon so Michael is really good because the Michael with crystal wing combo is really good summon Michael banish a card no one summon a tuner and go into crystal wing which is absolutely phenomenal uh, one star spark dragon and last but not least one black rose moonlight dragon the fact that you're able to uh, you know during your opponent's turn basically activate spirit dragon's effect to uh, you know uh, basically tag out into black 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 rose moonlight dragon and uh, to bounce a special summon card your board control is just very very strong so the one moon rose uh, moonlight dragon is very very clutch in the deck. Uh, next up off, you want to play off to our XYZ. You want to play number 107 Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon for the Dark Matter. Uh, full armor, really good. Number 62, and here you go, guys. The best, one of the best XYZs in the deck. Number 95, Galaxy Dark Matter uh, Dragon. The fact that he dumps your Ancient White Stone to trigger off its effect during the end phase to bring out a Dragon Spirit uh, White from the deck is very good. And it also dumps your alternative. It dumps your graveyard. This card is like one of the best feel for your graveyard. And that's why uh, Dragon Wheelers got hit. So this card is very, very powerful. Next one to play, of course, the Hope Harbinger. Uh, very amazing. Really good to go first. Uh, one, uh, number 46, uh, uh, Dragulon. This card is really amazing, especially during the Mirror Match which is very very phenomenal and last but not least for XYZs you do want to play the one I'll say I do not play the fall grand I was playing the fall grand if you guys don't want to, if you guys definitely want to incorporate fall grand in this I definitely think that you know me and Marcus were discussing this and we felt like you know uh, you wouldn't rather go first turn fall grand over the first turn number 38 so 38 is definitely one of the most impactful cards during the game right now so definitely this card is way better than the fall grand but if you guys want to play fall grand you guys can take out this card instead the number uh, the blue eyes the twin burst dragon to run off our extra deck so you guys can definitely take this card off for a foul grant if you guys would like but this card can come clutch sometimes this card just helps you able to OTK your opponent uh, which is very very strong so yeah the fact that if you, you know if ever you have a two blue eyes on the board you basically summon this card you get basically just OTK your opponent which is very very phenomenal so that's pretty much it for extra deck guys and let's go off uh, into some of the combos that I have uh, for this deck alright guys so the two card combo that I was mainly talking about involves Sage with Eyes of Blue and of course Mausoleum of White these two card combos are absolutely amazing but these just only these two cards you can up with Maiden and a Spear Dragon, or you can end up with a Crystal uh, Wing Single Dragon, which is absolutely phenomenal. And I'll showcase you guys on how to do it with these two cards right now. It doesn't really matter what your other three or four cards are. Let's just focus on these two cards, and I'll show you guys some more combos what you can do with a sample hand with uh, with these two cards in the hand and with other three or four cards. So let's start off with the Sage and Mausoleum of White. So let's say you have these two cards, uh, disregard the other three or four cards you have in your hand. So what you want to do is you want to activate Ma uh, Mausoleum of White. You want to normal summon Sage with Eyes of Blue. When Sage is normal summoning, he gets to search a Maiden from the deck to your hand. So you basically add Maiden. So you normal summon Maiden uh, as the additional normal summon because a Mausoleum of White allows you to additional normal summon a level 1 light tuner, which is absolutely phenomenal. At this point, what you want to do is you want to activate Mausoleum effects to target Maiden so that way that you can dump a Blue Eyes from your deck to the graveyard. So you want to activate Mausoleum.
mausoleum target your maiden. Since maiden maiden was targeted, you want to chain maiden's effect uh, to basically special summon a blue eyes from the deck. So you want to special summon this blue eyes off maiden, and uh, mausoleum of white will dump a blue eyes to the graveyard. Okay, so at this point, that's already uh, your board right now. So you have a blue eyes, you have a maiden, and you also also got a sage with mausoleum on the field. Sage uh, maiden is at eight hundred attack, by the way. So what you want to do at this point is you want to synchro these two. To your graveyard, uh, and you will have a first turn uh, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Okay, so you you have a first turn Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. At this point, let's say that if you ha were to have a third card, and a third card that you would have in your hand, let's say you had a uh, what is it? Return of uh, the Dragon Lords. If you had a Return of the Dragon Lords or a Silver Cry, you can basically activate Return of the Dragon Lords to revive back a Blue Eyes and Synchro again into a Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, and that way that now you have double uh, Spirit Dragon uh, first turn, and you also have a protection in the graveyard so if your opponent tries to regek you or things like that you have uh what is called return of the dragon lords to protect your uh spirit dragons from being destroyed which is pretty pretty good so you know disregard that you had uh the the return and you still had this on board uh you still had the minion on board you can either leave it at that so you know if your opponent targets targeted this for an attack next turn or targeted with a card effect you can easily bring out evil wise from the graveyard or the deck which is very very powerful or what you can do is you can, you can activate uh this card's effect Tribute this card to special summon a uh, Michael. Okay, so you can special summon a Michael uh, from your extra uh, from your extra deck, and Michael can banish something if your opponent were to have cards on the field. And uh, now what you can do is you can single summon these two into a Crystal Wing, which is absolutely phenomenal. So you know you know the Mausoleum with the Sage can end can end off with a first turn Crystal Wing single Dragon, which is absolutely phenomenal. So uh, and you know imagine if you have already just this this board already, and you open up with a Soul Charge. So if you open up the Soul Charge, you as I, as I said before during the deck profile, if you open up Soul Charge, you literally win the game. So let's say you actually open up Soul Charge with the three uh, with the two card combo. So you open up Mausoleum, Sage, and Soul Charge, and you make this board already with Crystal Wing. At this point, this is your graveyard, right? Your graveyard is already filled with dragons. So what you can do is you're gonna act. Let's say you had Soul Charge uh, using this card to the best. Uh, uh, of its situation right here. You want to activate Soul Charge, and uh, let's say you had it, uh, you activate Soul Charge, you, you want to bring out, of course, the Spirit Dragon in defense. You want to bring out the Blue Eyes, you want to bring out the Blue Eyes, and let's say at this point, you can either bring out Michael or Maiden, but at this point, I'm just going to bring out Maiden because Maiden is definitely way better in this situation. So this is your board right now with Soul Charge. You pay 4,000 to bring these four out. Now what you want to do is you want to go into Dark Matter. Uh, so first you want to go into Tachyon, then Dark Matter. Uh, so let's go into so where's my tachyon? So you got, yeah, you want to go into tachyon, okay? So go into tachyon right here, uh, and this is your graveyard. So these two are the two cards in your graveyard. This is your grave right here. Go into tachyon and then go into uh, of course the number ninety five galaxy eyes dark matter uh, dragon. So this is your board right now, and uh, what you can do is you can you know basically detach this. No, not attached. Sorry. Uh, when this card is summoned, you want to uh, it gets the effect to dump three. So what you want to dump is you want to dump this. You want to dump this, and also you want to dump the alternative dragon. Okay, so you're already dumping these cards to the graveyard, which is absolutely phenomenal. And at uh, at end phase, what you're gonna get is a blue eyes spirit dragon uh, from your graveyard. Uh, no, from the deck because of the ancient white stones effect, since it was sent to the graveyard. So what you want to do is end phase. You basically get this right here during the end phase so this will be your board right here if you did open up a soul charge and if you yeah so this will be your board right here if let's say uh let's say let's use this situation to the best uh to, to the best of it let's say you open up with mausoleum return soul charge and a sage okay so pretend that you had this extra card in your hand so don't skip to end phase yet what you can do at this point is you can activate return of the dragon lords to revive back uh, this right here Revive back with uh, the Spirit White Dragon, synchro uh, synchro into a, another Spirit Dragon, which is absolutely amazing. So you go into another Spirit Dragon right here. So your board can end up like this. So, you know, the amount of combos that you can make with this deck is actually limitless. It all depends on what cards you have in your hand. But this is just a basic combo that you can do with Soul Charge and Mausoleum and things like that. And then during the end phase, you basically get the Ancient uh, Dragon Spirit of White. Uh, from your deck because of uh, the ancient white stone in your graveyard. So you know, this is the amount of crazy plays that you can make with blue eyes. You have a neg you have two uh, graveyard negation. You got a monster negation. You also got this beater right here. You also got a protection card if you did have.
have the return, which is absolutely phenomenal. So this is one of the combos that you can do depending on the cards that you have in your hand. But you know what? I'll show you a more of a basic combo that you can do with uh, with having exact cards in your hand and what you can do during that situation. But as I said before, these combos are like you like the combos in this deck are limitless, and you can do whatever combo you want depending on the cards in your hand. But it's just a basic standard combo that you can basically do with this deck. So let's go off into our second combo uh, of uh, this deck. All right, guys. So let's say you open up, of course, the the White Stone of Ancients, Melody, Return, Sage, and Mausoleum. So this is the exact you know sample hand that we have right here. So let's go out with Mausoleum. Basically, do the basic shenanigan combos that you do. So summon Sage. Is your hand right now? So summon Sage. Basically, get the Maiden. Do the exact same thing. Maiden targets. You know, activate Mausoleum. Send this to the graveyard and activate Maiden's effect to special summon the blue eyes because you targeted the Maiden and now what you want to do at this point is you want to synchro summon these two to basically go into a spirit dragon so we basically go into a spirit dragon right now absolutely phenomenal at this point what you guys can do is you want to go melody of the awakening dragons so this is your graveyard right now melody of the awakening dragons you want to add the alternative uh, and of course the blue eyes monster from your deck from your from your deck to your hand So you want to add melody and you want to also add the extra blue eyes from your deck to your hand the last blue eyes actually From your deck to your hand. I'm just yeah, so here it is So it is your hand right now and that's your board what you can do now at this point is you can you know uh, You know reveal blue eyes special with the alternative Okay, so this is your board right here. So this is your board since uh, let's say you are going first and your opponent has no monster to pot What you want to do at this point you want is you want to activate uh, return. Oh, to activate Melody, you have to ditch the Ancient White Stone, by the way. So, you you know, you have to ditch the Ancient White Stone, which is very, very important. So, this is your grave right now. At this point, what you want to do is you want to activate Return of the Dragon Lords uh, to basically, um, especially on the Blue Eyes. So, what you want to do is you want to overlay these two into a, you know, number uh, 107. 107 into, of course, a Dark Matter Dragon. So, this into a dark matter which is very self explanatory and when dark matter is summoned you basically dump three dragons to the graveyard and this is your graveyard right now what you can dump to the grave is basically this uh you can dump to the graveyard let's say you can dump it doesn't really matter you can dump this you know this and this okay very very standard right here so you dump these three cards to the graveyard and this is your board right now and what you can do at this point is that uh, just in case uh, what you can do is you, have, you can since you already sent two white stones to the graveyard this turn uh, you can actually activate both of them during the end phase uh, but what you can do at this point is you can activate the white stone of ancient banish one of them basically add back the alternative to your hand so this is your hand right now and during the end this is your graveyard right now and during the end phase you basically get to special summon a dragon spirit of white from your deck and uh, during your opponent's turn if your opponent tries to you know attack as a maiden you can bring out a, a blue eyes and things like that and your opponent tries to ram into the spirit of white you can special summon a blue eyes white dragon from your hand you can just basically tribute this special summon the blue eyes white dragon from your hand to dodge anything from this card getting destroyed which is pretty pretty good and you also have a protection in the graveyard which is absolutely amazing as well and the reason why you want to ban uh, the white stone is because when you banish white stone, you when you when you when you banish this white stone right here to add back the alternative. What you can do next turn is that if you end up tributing this card for this uh, during the next turn, what you can do is you can activate uh, the other white stone, banish it to add the blue eyes to basically make this card live. So special. So during the next turn, what you want to do is you want to banish it, add this card to your hand. You know, special summon this card by revealing blue eyes. And if you draw into a trade in, you can trade this in off and draw two cards and things like that. So the amount of combo plays in this that you can make is actually absolutely limitless. And what you can do at this point is that since you already have two level eight monsters, that you can either, uh, you know, pop a card. So you pop one card, then you synchro these into it, maybe an Azurize or a Spirit Dragon, things like that. And you know, the combo plays that before is actually limitless in this deck. So it actually, like, you can do whatever you want with this deck, depending on the cards that you have in hand. So that's some of the combos that you can do with Mausoleum of White. And that's why I like Mausoleum so much for the fact that it just dumps wise to the graveyard and the fact that it helps you get rid of uh you know dead tuner cards in your hand and things like that to trigger off ancient white stone and things like that it's just absolutely phenomenal so i really hope you guys enjoy this kind of mini combo tutorial if you guys know any other combos uh you know that i may not know of please leave them in the comment section below i love reading the comments thank you guys so much for watching this video i really appreciate uh you guys staying this long to watch this deck profile i know the deck profile was kind of short but the combo video was kind of long so i just so nonetheless i really hope you guys enjoy this deck profile let me know what you guys think make sure you guys give this video this video 
a thumbs up. That would be absolutely amazing, guys. Stay tuned for more deck profiles on uh, the new Blue Eyes. The Chaos Max Dragon version is coming out next, so make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for that. And this is Sam from Team Sam. Sam signing out again, guys. Before I go, shout out to my boy Marcus, Lucas, 41 Games, and the Class TCG. Thank, uh, I just want to give a huge shout out to all those guys right there. They are absolutely amazing, guys. And this is Sam from Team Sam. Sam signing out. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.